everyone in today's reading we're going to take a look and see what unexpected changes are coming your way so i guess this reading today is for those of you who need it most and for those of you that feel a little bit stuck or a little bit stagnant in your life even if some of you feel like you have been doing or you have done everything right on paper you might feel like you've got a good corporate job you might feel like you're in a healthy relationship you've got a fit you've got yourself a fancy car but you may still there's a part of you feels like even if you have all of that it might not feel enough um, you may feel like you're a little bit bored with your life or you may just feel like things are stagnant where they are i just want to remind everyone that this is a general reading so it's not intended for any sign specific but it is intended for those of you who do need it the most especially at this point in time as this is a general reading if you are interested in a private one feel free to reach out i will list the email address just below the video and on that note let's go ahead and see what the cards reveal to you At the bottom of the deck is the Page of Swords. For those of you that are feeling stuck right now, okay, if you feel like you're stuck in a rut, if you feel this energy of stuckness, if you feel like the whole world is moving around you, everyone is moving on, everyone is moving forward in their relationships, in their careers, with their dreams, their goals, their aspirations, their intentions, their manifestations, but you feel stuck, you feel like you're standing still. Um, the reason why you're feeling stuck is because you are stuck. For some of you, you're feeling, you're only honoring what you're feeling, which is an energy of stuckness. And whilst I do think there are maybe some external factors that might be keeping you stuck, I think ultimately it's you that's keeping you there. It's you that's blocking yourself from moving forward. It's you that's blocking yourself from moving on or from, you know, getting from point A to point B or from getting to where it is that you want to go you're keeping yourself there you're holding yourself back and a lot of this is because of the mental energy because of your way of thinking because of your self-limiting beliefs because of your negative beliefs the ten of swords is the dark night of the soul some of you are going through this okay and this is a this is an emotional rock bottom this is a dark night of the soul. This is when you find yourself face to face with your fears, with your inadequacies, with your insecurities, your flaws, your shortcomings. Um, when you find yourself at rock bottom, 
it's a bit of a bit of sweet place because when you find yourself there the thing is there is nowhere else to go but up so if you find that you have hit rock bottom right now the good news is that you can move forward okay things can get better and things will get better um, some of you have I feel like some of you are losing your, your sense of identity that's also why you might feel an energy of stuckness, okay? Some of you, it's like you may have recently lost relationships, friendships. You may have lost, um, you may have lost something that you really strongly identified with. And this has led you to lose like a part of yourself. Or this has some way hindered your identity because you have strongly identified that yourself you know, in that relationship, with that relationship, with that person or with that friend or with that specific situation or with that goal. And right now you have no choice for those of you that are feeling lost, because there's a lot of you out there who I feel like are feeling a little bit lost. It's like you've been following this roadmap, but all of a sudden, you know, the winds picked up and they blew the roadmap right out of your hands. And now you've got no idea where to go and you're your compass isn't really working um, that's a little broken and you just feel like you just feel like you're lost and you're confused as to which direction to go you have when you're feeling this way you have no choice but rediscover yourself you have no choice but to reconnect with yourself rediscover yourself um, for some of you I feel like your entire life or at least this is how you feel your entire life has fallen apart maybe it necessarily hasn't maybe you're being you know you're being a little bit pessimistic um or, or maybe it feels like that maybe you you know identify with this this crisis it's, it's sort of like a and it could be like an early life crisis it could be it's an energy it's a dark night um of the soul kind of energy okay call it what you want you, we can also call it a spiritual awakening because this is this is what's happening you know with the ten of swords we've got this dark night of the soul and then we've got to contrast that we've got the star and the sun which provides light which provides illuminance you know and casts light on this dark night of the soul energy so if you're feeling lost now's a really good time to rediscover yourself now's a really good time to rebuild something that has fallen apart or rebuild something that has been destroyed in some way um I feel like, and for those of you that do feel stuck, or, or even if you can identify with feeling a little bit bored, the reason why you feel this way is because for a large chunk of your life, you have consistently chosen, you have made decisions, and you have chose certain people or certain places or things that how do I say this, maybe, that maybe society expected of you, okay, um, for example, some of you, maybe you chose a job that pays really well, okay, but isn't necessarily giving you a lot of happiness, maybe you're in a relationship where there's a lot of chemistry and there's a lot of physical attraction, but there's not a lot of connection, okay there's not a lot of emotional depth or connection and maybe you have friends around you that you know there's not a lot of substance to the friendship not a lot of depth or dimension to the friendship but you just feel like there's some validation okay and i feel like some of your choices you've consist consistently made choices for a large chunk of your life where now the reason now you're paying the price for them and this is why you feel like you might have a great relationship you might have a good paying job you might you might drive a fancy car and you might have you know a cute home that you own but there is something lacking okay because the material like the objects that you have in your life the car the, the home um you know the those objects those attachments that you do have they've they've provided you with an illusion of safety with an illusion of comfort with an illusion of purpose and almost an illusion of identity 
okay and once you take that away once you become an unattached and unanchored from those things which is what's happening now because even though you have those things in your life okay or for some of you maybe you've lost some of those things um, but once you've unanchored yourself from those things you find yourself at a loss like you find yourself directionless like you've got nowhere to go like you don't know who you are you don't know what it is who it is or what it is that you identify with and you may feel like you're drowning in a sea of you're drowning in a sea of emptiness and you don't know and it's like you're in the middle you're out in the middle of the sea you're drowning and as far as the eye can see there's nothing but water there's nothing but water so you don't know which direction to go a spiritual awakening is taking place okay um and I think you've become, you've begun. For some of you, I think you've begun this journey of self-discovery, or you've, you've, you know, you've found yourself on this journey, this dark night of the soul, this rock bottom. Um, you've been here for it's been a, about at least a solid year, maybe, or even longer. For others of you, I think you, you might just be starting out on the journey, right? Um, so you may be at different phases of the journey, but. Guys, you're, you're on a journey of transformation, okay? And you're, you're creating a new life for yourself. One that may be better than the one that you're leaving behind or better than the one that you currently have now. Um... I think the fact that you feel lost isn't entirely a bad thing and I'll tell you why. Uh, remember how I said you're unanchoring or you're unattaching yourself from these objects, from these attachments, okay, especially these materialistic attachments. And that's giving you a sense of liberation and a sense of freedom. And sometimes we confuse that feeling of freedom with feeling lost. Okay, and we confuse that, we make that confusion because it's new to us. Because I feel like for a lot of you, you've never felt this freedom before. You've never felt this, and you might interpret it as directionless energy, but really it's liberation. It's a sense of freedom and it's a sense of peace. And this freedom is allowing you to find your true purpose, is allowing you to find your happiness. Because your happiness isn't necessarily attached to the fancy car that you drive or, you know, the fancy objects or attachments that you have. Okay, it, it, it's about doing things that nourish. It's about attaching yourself to, to things that nourish your soul. Okay, that things that feed your soul. So for some of you, as part of this ten of swords energy you are saying goodbye you are saying goodbye to people places and things that i don't think fit into your life anymore because you outgrew them and if you hold yourself attached to these things that means you'd only be shrinking yourself to fit into these uh you know to hold on to these things and to fit into these things so you're saying goodbye to anything that is disturbing or even corrupting your energy okay um any career paths that might have paid might have been very financially secure and paid well but they didn't bring you the happiness they did they did, you know it didn't feel like you were like it served a purpose they were drag like un unhealthy relationships or unhealthy choices that were dragging you down any destructive habits that are holding you back you're saying goodbye to them for some of you i feel like you're still you're still holding on to some of those habits and a lot of those habits are your um are your beliefs what you think of yourself um what you think of your life what you think you deserve um and you feel stuck stagnant disconnected confused because you're afraid eight of swords energy you're afraid. Yeah. 
and if you have lost touch with your emotions, okay, you're afraid to make choices that will reflect your true passions, choices that will reflect your priorities. You cannot make healthy choices, healthy decisions. You cannot make effective decisions. You can't take effective action when you're in a place of fear, when you're operating from an energy of fear. And this is why you feel stuck, because it's the fear that's keeping you there, because you're, you're scared to step outside of your comfort zone. And I get it. Comfort zones are scary, right? Well, for one thing, they're completely unfamiliar territory. You know, um, they can be daunting, they can be terrifying, it's, you know, it's unfamiliar, it's unpredictable, but as we're all, of, as we're all, I'm sure, familiar with the saying, you know, no growth happens in your comfort zone. All the growth happens outside of your comfort zone, okay? And if you're stuck, it means you're not growing. And for some of you, you have to push yourself outside of your comfort zone so you can open yourself up to new experiences. And when you open yourself up to new experiences, you also offer, like open yourself up to new opportunities, new possibilities, new connections, uh, new friendships. You also have to stop comparing yourself. And there, there are some of you that are so guilty of doing this. Honestly, it's, and this is what I feel like is really... Um, I think this is drives you crazy you have to stop comparing yourself to other people okay um to, especially to people that you might see on social media some of you are w watching way too much social media okay um you have to stop comparing yourself it, it's a trap comparing yourself against others measuring yourself against others your those instagram feeds are you know they're just completely inundated with unrealistic um, unrealistic images just you know all these filtered images people only show you like people only show you what they want to show you okay there's a there's a lot of stuff that happens behind the scenes that they do not show you so just because something is working for someone else doesn't mean that it's going to work for you, okay? Just because uh, someone else feels like, just because you might feel like, you know, you're looking at someone else's life and they've got it all together, it doesn't mean that they do, okay? Illusions. There's, you know, social media is such a big veil of illusion. So... And just because it might seem that the grass is green on someone else's side, I mean, it, it doesn't mean that it is, or sometimes it is, but it's all just a bunch of, trust me, it took a lot of fertilizer to get at that green, so if you know what I mean. So stop comparing yourself to the next person, or stop comparing your chapter 1 to someone else's chapter 10. Like, it's not fair, it's just not fair. Um, I talked about lost identity. Get to know yourself. Rediscover yourself all over again. And to do that, you have to reconnect with your inner child. Because your inner child needs a lot of your attention right now. In fact, if you noticed, if you actually stopped to think, there have been a lot of um, like signs of synchronicities. There's been a lot of happenings in your life recently where like, you might, all these old, like all these things that you love doing in your childhood, in your childhood like you know maybe your favorite disney movies or you've just stumbled ac across your favorite i don't know disney songs or i don't know what it is but it's all this stuff that you like to do as a child it's all coming back maybe it's coming back in flashbacks maybe you know it's the remakes that are coming back these days but Notice if and what's happening here, it's your inner child's way of getting your attention. Your inner child wants you to reconnect with it because your inner child wants to laugh and wants to play and wants to have a little bit of fun. And as adults, when we grow up, we forget, we forget to, you know, we, we kind of stop having fun because there's bills to pay and there's adulting to do, right? 
but it's so important to go back to that inner child and there's something here that i feel like it was re it was such a big part of your childhood and it's now resurfacing in your life again okay for some of you it is films it is movies for others of you it may be in the form of books or it may be something that for example there may be something that you really like to do as a kid maybe like it's playing tennis and all of a sudden you've just got this really strong desire to take ten take uh, tennis lessons okay it's not a coincidence it is not a coincidence your inner child is communicating with you it's having an inner dialogue with you so pay attention to what it's saying because it wants you to have fun it wants to remind you to laugh and love and play and just enjoy yourself and that's that's definitely going to help you get to know yourself all over again Become curious, become curious about who, who were you when you were that little child, okay, what were your passions, what did you like to do, who are you now, okay, what's, what's so deeply and just authentically you, or what's so deeply and authentically important to you, um, what are your hobbies? What do you like doing? What are you interested in? Um, what did you always wanted to do, but you, you know, you put off? What activities? Or what did you really like doing as a child, as a kid? Go back to it. See if you can pick that up again, and just see. Just, you know, just even, you know, do this as a bit of an experiment. Just, just do it for a week or a couple of weeks, and see how you feel. Um, also letting go okay letting go letting things flow is so important because everything is constantly changing right everything is always changing the more that we hold on to things the more that we resist the more that we hold on to things the more that we struggle against our own reality against the world um, the more that you're going to suffer the more that you're going to feel you know this negative energy the truth is, life is completely out of our control, okay? And um, you cannot, there are some situations that I can see that you have experienced lately, or you might still be experiencing that, uh, that have put you in a place of fear and disappointment and loss, struggle, that have been very challenging, that have been very tumultuous or, tu or turbulent. Um, but you have to relax. And I know things are a little bit uncertain now. For some of you, it's like, especially when you feel lost or if you feel confused or if you feel directionless, it makes sense that things appear uncertain or things feel uncertain. But if you feel this way, you are being asked to surrender to the flow of life. Okay, You are being asked to surrender to this state. You have to release what no longer serves you, one of which is your thinking, okay? How, what you think about yourself matters. Thoughts create our reality. Pay very close attention to the thoughts that you are feeding your mind. Not only that, but to what you're feeding your mind. That means the conversations that you're having, the people that you choose to spend your time with, the movies that you watch, the books that you read. The books that you don't read okay pay attention to what you're feeding your mind and also pay attention to what you're missing out on as well that's important there may be education or information that is available to you but you are choosing not to see it you are choosing to miss out on this and that can be especially instrumental in helping you uh, get out of a situation that you feel stuck in especially if it's like financially um, so be open to change be okay with anything that is falling away right now okay and i know you have lost someone um i feel like you've lost a friendship or maybe like a could be a relationship it might be it may be like you may have ended a relationship or you may feel as though someone has rejected you or uh, abandoned you in some way allow those things to fall away okay do not chase anything because if you go chasing after anything it 
what happens is you're, de you're actually taking yourself on a path of resistance. And you don't want that. You want to go with the natural flow of things. See, you have you have some sort of blueprint for how your life should have been and the expectations that you had for yourself and that blueprint, that map, it's not where you ended up and that's okay. Maybe it's not your journey that's not working. Maybe that blueprint, that map needs a bit of updating. Um, Stop getting in your own way, okay? Remember how I said at the start of the reading that you are what's blocking you. You are what's keeping you stuck. And I know it sounds a little bit insensitive and I don't mean for it to come across that way. But I just want, I just want to be really honest with you. Your thinking is keeping you stuck. Whether you think you can or whether you think you can't, either way you're right. Okay, whether the, you think you're a success or whether you think you're a failure. Either way, you're right, because your thoughts are going to determine the actions that you're going to take or the actions that you're not going to take. So stop getting in your own way, okay? Don't be afraid to share your gifts, because you've got gifts and talent, but I don't know why you're holding back on it, okay? Because that's why you were given these gifts or these talents, so that you could share it with the world, so that you can share it with the rest of us, right? Um, so don't, you know, don't hold back. You're holding back. You need to believe in you a little bit more. Okay, you need to vouch for yourself. Don't be afraid to share. There's something here that you're... There's something here that I feel like you're very drawn to, but you're scared to share this gift with the world, with the rest of us. We're waiting, okay? We're here when, when you're ready. The world is waiting. There is something here. It could be an art project. Could be something here maybe some of you want to become a teacher there's something here you've got a talent or a gift that you've been given and that you are expected to share with the world but you're holding back because you don't believe in yourself or you don't believe you're good enough or whatever it else whatever it else whatever else it is you're thinking see the thing is Some of you, and you're bothered by this, okay? If you're not bothered by this, then this does not apply to you. Then just discard it. But some of you, you are bothered by this. And what this is, is you're choosing to spend your time and your energy on building someone else's dream. And for some of you, that's okay. Okay, if that's what you want to do, and if that's a conscious decision that you've made, that's fine. But if you're bothered by that, if you're bothered by choosing to spend your time and energy working towards someone else's dream when you should be working towards your own, that's when you might have to rethink, rethink of some things. Okay, that's because you have, you know, you can choose to spend that time and that energy following your heart's passion, your heart's desire, following your dreams, instead of trying to help someone else, you know, build theirs. There is a freedom, there is an energy of freedom that is waiting for you, okay? Um, it's not, th this energy of freedom is not directionless. It's not an energy of being lost or confused or disorientated. Um, it's an energy of freedom. There are some major changes coming your way here. But you cannot get you cannot get in the in the way of these changes. Like you cannot block these changes, these opportunities from coming. There are some really big changes, okay? 
And those changes are stemming from the fact that, you know, you're going through a spiritual awakening or you're going through this dark night of the soul or you've hit rock bottom and, you know, the only place now is up. There are some big changes coming. Um, and those changes, you're going to come out a better person because of those changes. I feel like it's important to acknowledge that things are changing right now, even with what you're feeling, right? Because you've been in this job for how long or you've been in this relationship for how long or things have been this way for how long why haven't you been feeling what you're feeling now why haven't you been feeling that you know a lot earlier or a lot sooner you have to understand that there's powerful changes that are happening now The Ace of Pentacles, there is definitely a manifestation. There's an energy of, like a frequency of manifestation. Try and spend some more time, if you can, try and carve out some time in your day daydreaming visualizing uh paying really close attention to your manifestations and be really specific be really specific about what it is that you want because there's a lot of positive life changes that are coming your way a lot of changes that are happening that are going to contrast your life right now um there's going to be like i see it could be a, a complete new career a new career path a new like a dream job something that you've always wanted to do just complete like new career direction um it could be a personal milestone of some sort something that you've always wanted to do a dream that you've always wanted to chase you know a dream that you want to always wanted to fulfill some sort of alignment with your purpose with your deepest aspirations and an alignment with the universe but for some of you be careful okay because if you the thing is you can attract your manifestations but by the same token on the flip side of the coin you could also repel your manifestations that's why it's so important to watch what you feed your mind and that inner narrative that watch that inner dialogue that you have with yourself okay because you can bring those manifestations into your life and for that matter you could even do it sooner if you wanted to okay um but it's so in the importance of belief plays such a big role in all your in the law of attraction in, in any manifestation and in your um, alignment are you doing the inner work like are you if you are doing the inner work then those of you you can speed up your attractions okay visualizing your desired reality the thing is, the universe is always sending us clues, sending us messages, communicating with us. But you have to pay attention. And some of you are kind of sleepwalking. I'm not even going to lie at this point. You are kind, you've been sleepwalking. Okay, the universe has been communicating with you. Like, it may as well be flashing neon signs, but you would still miss it. Because that's how asleep some of you might be. So wake up and pay attention. Pay attention, trust the process okay um i spoke about you know being free and some of you need to let go of control let go of control like not force anything allow things to unfold naturally allow things to unfold organically um when you're in a state of flow and in your alignment with your higher self that's when it's very likely your manifestations will show up okay gratitude and gratitude is, is really important an energy of gratitude you know focusing on what's positive in your reality 
okay because i bet you there are so many things that you can focus on that are positive and that are blessings the more you appreciate what you have the more you attract what you want the more you focus on what you don't have you know that's where your energy and that's where you, that that's where your energy is flowing what you don't have the more you won't see it show up in your life if you are seeing numbers and synchronicities everywhere and if you're seeing them re being repeated you need i you know it, i need you to take notice of that number they're called angel numbers uh their messages from your spirit guides each number is different and will have significance so you can always go back and look that specific number up in a numerology book or just like look them up online because each number is different and again because you're all different people you're not on the same journey you know 11 11 might mean something entirely different to the next person watching this than it might mean to you um synchronicities are meaningful coincidences and some of you have been getting a lot of that show up in your life like a lot of it and that has that has something to do with the fact that you're waking up and you're in tune to the frequency i feel like you're going to you might connect with someone or you might bump into someone that might put you on the path to what it is that you want so for some of you for example you might want to redirect your career path or you might want to learn a new skill or embrace your talent and you might connect with someone that will uh i don't know give you a book or you know will tell you to listen to a, a particular podcast that will give you the information that you need to get better okay um and when things like this happen when you get these meaningful coincidences happen in your life it's a sign that you're on the right track it's a sign that you're in sync with your manifestation and in sync with your reality dreams some of you have been having vivid dreams right um If you have any visions any flashes any dreams anything like that these are glimpses these are potential glimpses of your future reality they're meant to inspire they're meant to motivate you okay so it may be a good idea to put together a vision board or keep a journal you're going to be receiving an unexpected gift or an unexpected offer or an unexpected opportunity of some sort this is going to come out of the blue it may be a chance or an opportunity to showcase your talents to showcase your skills it may be a surprise it may be a surprise of some sort something that just knocks your socks off it could be a bonus a bonus that comes out of somewhere it could be a free trip it could be a new friendship it could be a new connection this is the universe rewarding you for your effort for your effort for your hard work for doing that inner work this is also a sign that you are attracting more abundance and more prosperity into your life so that means you are opening yourself up to receiving more okay that and that then means if we take a step back that means you've been very grateful for the things that you do have and because of this you know attitude of gratitude you are then attracting more of what you want so an unexpected gift a very present su surprise the only thing you have to do and this is important pay attention is accept it accept it and enjoy the gift enjoy the opportunity enjoy whatever this offer is that the universe is sending you do not do not under any circumstance and 
you know who it is that I'm talking to, feel guilty. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel like you're, you know, unworthy of it. Don't feel like these, this opportunity is just down to pure luck. The more that you receive, the more that you're also able to give, the more also you're able to help others, right? So you, you are given some sort of gift or an opportunity so that you can use that gift. And you can use that gift to help and connect with others. You are getting closer to your manifestations. Okay. And I'll tell you how you know. You, you feel inspired. You feel an energy of creativity. You feel excited about your goals. When you feel excited about your passion or your purpose, that's when you're in a state of flow. And that's when you're really expressing your true self. The more that you act on that energy, that energy of inspiration, the more that you're going to attract your um, manifestations. I feel like, before I go, I also just want to say that I feel like that you're seeing certain images or symbols, um, like it may be songs, conversation, podcasts, a certain person, uh, like a certain YouTube channel or something. Um, Or you might even be meeting like people who who have what you want and maybe you don't yet have those things but you they, those people have what you want like you might want a specific and this is just an example but you might want a specific car and then you may meet someone who drives that specific car you might you know you might all have always wanted to meet a certain celebrity and you might connect with someone who has met that celebrity, has crossed paths with that celebrity. What's happening here is that these are signs that the universe is mirroring your vibration. It's another good sign that you're on the path, okay? You're on the path to your manifestations, you're in true alignment. Celebrate, celebrate the signs that you see celebrate the things that are coming to you celebrating the things that are crossing paths with you use that as confirmation remember remember your energy okay your thoughts your attitudes your beliefs or lack of is creating your reality the more that you see it the more that you believe it right and i think it's easy to believe things when you see it the challenge is in seeing things or believing in things when you don't yet see it. That's the, I feel like that's the real challenge, right? You, how you feel is everything. The energy, it's the energy that you're putting out into the universe. It's the frequency. And remember, your energy, our energies are being mirrored back to us constantly. Okay, so watch very closely to the energy you're putting out. All right, guys, and I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you for your time, your energy, and your attention today. Um, I will be uploading more videos like this. But, guys, before I let you go, I just want to remind you to... I just want to remind you to keep manifesting. Keep manifesting your dreams, your visions, your goals, your reality. Okay? And some of you get out of your own way. Bye for now.